Hi guys, I'm listening to some of my favorite music. I'm telling you a whole bunch of stories from my life for the kids at Coral. <laughs> As you know, the title of the video says. Uh, anyway, let's get started for my story that was happening when I was one. For episode one. Because, you know, logic. And, yeah, I'll never be silent and have that awkward moment of silence because of the music in the background. And the music's not playing, of course, and you can't hear it, which is just beautiful. Hopefully you can't hear it. That would be just amazing. But let's actually get to the part that you came here for, the really funny story about my awkward life. When I was one years old, I really liked wearing dress stuff that you would normally wear on Easter when you were going to church and you were trying to impress the priest with how much you were totally okay with, you know, and obsessed with the church when you really, you really, really want to put on a t-shirt and a diaper and just lay back and butter your bed all day and eat potato chips. Um, and then I also wear more, really, this, um, Fourth of July, and it didn't even match with the outfit. I got it from uh, uh, painful things in my mind and chest. Um, I would wear that thing everywhere. I seriously want I can tell my mom that I'm not going to the goddamn store until you put this dress shirt and Fourth of July hat on my face. And I'm a baby, and I could totally like talk my mom like that, because I'm a baby and she could do absolutely nothing about my baby if he could mend my horrible neck. Also, I was really fat and had an afro, so you would expect like wearing a 4th of July hat and a tuxedo with a bike with a baby that is Asian fat and, um, has an afro, because that's exactly what I look like. <laughs> Well, anyway, when we got to the store, I decided that I'm going to draw as much attention to myself as possible. Because, you know, a re looking really absolutely ugly inside of a store and then drawing attention to yourself is definitely the best thing that you could ever do. Um, I did that perfectly. By yelling, Ah, look at my wow. And that exact voice, it struck, no, no, it's not at all what I said. I'm a baby. What do you think I talk about? And the song struck. Hooray. Um. <clears throat> oh, what was that? Mm. Um. Later on, inside of the store, there is this person who decided that she's going to walk up to my mom and totally confront me. Like, that person who was giving out letters that said that your child is fat. Except, she was talking about the tuxedo. Course. Which is why I named the video Test Gyro. Hmm. Um, the lady was all like, Why would you ever dare dress your freaking baby that looks Asian and fat with an afro inside of a 4th of July hat and inside of a tuxedo? And she was really, really complaining and stuff. And that very night, I had to shave my hair and get rid of my, um, little 4th of July hat, which made me cry for hours upon hours, not really, but it made me pretty goddamn sad. That, yeah, why, why you gonna make me swear, mommy? Uh, and then, I took a picture with my dad with the last time I ever wore a tux voluntarily. Ever, af pretty much after that, I pretty much absolutely hate tuxes. I like the polo thing now, because it's uniform at the new school, but I used to hate that. I just, like, absolutely hated anything that would be, like, a dress shirt. Uh, so, that gives you a little insight on the past of my life, and I'll see you at Coral. <laughs> Bye, guys.